asphalt, <laughs> asphalt tracking and so forth, and get VHT yellowing, <coughs> VHT butylated hydroxy toluene, some of you are familiar with that. that uh, that's the preservative you have in bread. It's also the preservative in rebond pad. You notice in this case it's a Berber carpet and it's turned yellow every place except water, where there's no pad. Well, yeah, there's no pad there. We took care of that very easily. But that it's a rebound pad, we just scrap your thing, pieces glued together, and you get it. If you don't have a preservative in there, it rots. And the problem with BHT is it, va it vaporizes up, normally out into the air. If you ever cleaned a carpet, you pull back a rug and it's a nice yellow rectangle. That's BHT yellowing. You spray down, brown out straight. We used to say dilute it, just throw it down straight. Leave, work it in, leave it about 20 minutes. You should see it disappear if that's what the problem is. And then take one quick pass because that's too much brown to leave and it's normally gone. If it stays and that's a rubber backed rug, that's irreversible. What, what is it? Well, you remember in the old, old days, the car dealerships, your showroom would be vinyl tile. And where they kept the cars, what was under the yellow. tires, it turned it yellow. That's the vulcanizing involves a sulfur compound. Guess what it does to vinyl and vinyl asbestos tile? Turns it yellow. You take a knife and scratch it, you discover it's not just on the surface. But how about this? Is a how how many of you have ever had asphalt track in from parking lots, where it's turned a, <coughs> and what color is the problem? Yellow. Yellow. Yeah, it turns yellow, but what? What color of carpet is a problem? Blue. Blue. I don't know why. Gray, too. Light, light gray is number two. Blue is the worst. I don't know. I, they, does that mean if this carpet was a, a, light, a, a carpet like this that it's not there? No, it just simply isn't visible. It's there. Blue does not attract asphalt. This particular picture is from Bogu Industries. What's interesting about this picture doesn't show it, but back in here, over in this room, there's a little room over here, it's the photocopier room. That floor is vinyl, white vinyl tile. In front of the photocopier, what do you suppose is going on? Yellow. It's yellow. And I took a knife and scraped and scraped it deep. Because I thought, well, maybe if it's just yellow, the floor wax, maybe we can get this off. Oh, no. It's gone all the way through and react with the vinyl. So do you suppose this is hard to get off the carpet? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we took a we took a rotary form machine with a very stiff brush. We applied TLS 2000 mixed with energy. Energy is a solvent. It smells just like bug spray. We can mix that with pre-sprays where we have some kind of a, an oily material. Scrub the living daylights out of it. We thoroughly extracted it out. We applied, if I remember right, ERA. And we told the customer, you'll probably have to replace this eventually anyhow. And by the way, what's missing on this carpet that should have been there? It should have been a walk-off mat. About, about 10, 12 foot. That would have helped the problem a lot. Pro the problem with walk-off mats is a lot of people think this solves the problem and the walk-off mat becomes the problem because they don't clean it. So what was the point? And the walk-off mat will turn it yellow too if it's yeah. picked up. Yeah, but you can remove that. And we have some customers who are in the business of walk off mats or they would replace them. Energy with TLS 2000 or if it's a restaurant, Prozine, buffer, low pile only, extract, pre spray again with citrus APS, a jagged tape, extract, dry bonnet. 